at the point exactly between x bar and mu. From that point and below, all of those scores will underestimate the deviation, because all of those scores are now closer to x bar than they are to mu. And any scores above that point are going to be overestimates of the deviation, because now they're farther from x bar than they would be from mu. And so the question is, well, how do we know if our sample has more underestimates or more overestimates? And the answer to that is we know because we know where x bar is. In order for x bar to be where it is, then the sample must have more lower scores in it. And so if we think about drawing our sample distribution, we'll assume that it's a normal distribution, although it doesn't have to be, so long as x bar is where x bar is. We can see that more of the scores in that sample are going to be underestimates compared to overestimates. And so when we sum up all those deviations, we're going to end up with an underestimate of the deviations from mu.